Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of November 12, 2017. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing week it is. We've got an active sky. We've got a romantic sky, including the most romantic day of the year. But I actually think it's not just about the day, but this is actually like the most romantic week of the year. And that is because early this week, we are going to have Venus meeting Jupiter in the sky. Now this happens on the 13th, give or take a day, depending on where you are on the planet, but really right out of the gate this weekend, we will be feeling this energy. We'll be feeling an energy of love and a desire for love and an intensity around love. This is also really great great for joy and beauty of all kinds. I mean, you think about Venus. Venus is goddess of love and pleasure and beauty as well. So wherever it is that you access one, essentially it is what we call an archetypal energy. So you access one, you access the energy of joy and beauty and pleasure, then you start accessing the energy of love as well. Like I said, archetypal energy, right? And there is a certain intensity, a certain transformative quality that the love brings now. So just on one level right this can be really great for things like uh, changing up your look if you're into that right you know if you've been watching me for a while you know I can be into that from time to time but look if you're into that whether it's something permanent like a tattoo or cosmetic procedure whether it is something like new clothes or makeup or hair color or whatever because really hair it's just hair it, it grows out right so whatever that is we've got this wonderful energy this week not just because of venus and jupiter but also because after venus will meet jupiter in the sky she's going to move on and then connect in supreme harmony with neptune essentially dragging out this very loving very beautifying energy that we're going to be feeling so yes great on the beautifying front great on the joy and pleasure front as well like wherever it is that you want to enjoy your life more this is great energy to actually do that but of course we've got to talk about love as well because I feel as I look at this that there'll be a lot of people out there very uh, sort of swept off their feet, if you will, or wanting that certainly, believing in love, having faith in love, feeling carried away by love. That is the kind of week that we have. And that is really a dominant energy this week as well that I think is going to be positively beautiful. Uh, and so, yes, if you are somebody who wants to meet somebody new, access that Venusian vibe, access that Venus energy by enjoying yourself. And that'll put you that much more in a position to meet somebody new. And if you're in an established bond, you know, the thing is, ultimately, this energy is about the truth, right? This is happening in the sign of Scorpio, which really likes to get down to the nitty gritty to see what's actually there beyond the superficial and find beauty in the truth in that that we sometimes might reject as part of us. So if you are in an established bond, this can be a real moment of truth in that bond, but it's a good moment of truth. It's the kind of moment of truth that ultimately has that potential to have you believing in love again. Now, of course, because of this, I just spent all this time talking about beauty. I got to say, if you are someone who's considered making a change, this is the kind of sky that actually could let you know that you're just perfectly beautiful and amazing and sultry exactly as you are you don't need to make any changes anyways so that might be part of the picture as well but yes i don't want to downplay because it is kind of a big deal and this is the most romantic day of the year in fact the most romantic week of the year so i hope that you run with it i hope that you enjoy it and i hope that you actively cultivate an energy of love in every area of life. Now there is a book, I gotta tell you, there's a book. I recommend this book sometimes like when I'm doing, you know, readings for people and stuff. When I see that it is called for, when I see a big Jupiter transit, when I see a big Venus transit, I like to talk about a book called The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Now this book is about the law of love. And I'll tell you, Venus meeting Jupiter and Venus speaking with Neptune this week and this powerful energy this week, if you are so inspired, you might want to have a look at that book called The Power by Rhonda Byrne. Again, it's all about the law of love. And this is a good time to cultivate, to access, to tap into that law of love that much more to your advantage. Now, if all of that wasn't enough, we've got other things happening in the sky as well this week. We've got 
Mercury this week doing some interesting things. Mercury will be speaking with Neptune in the first part of the week. Now this is a conversation of some tension which does speak to some confusion, okay? So keep that in mind, especially if you're sending any kind of text messages, uh, emails, communicating, just know that there are a whole lot of ways that a text message can be interpreted as we know, a whole lot of ways that emails can be interpreted as well. So just keep that in mind, whether it's you being the receiver or the sender, keep in mind that the potential for some confusion is a little higher in the earlier part of the week than the second. Uh, not the best time to buy electronics or cars or watches or anything with moving parts. It may feel like for a split second we're back in Mercury retrograde, but then by the time we get to the end of the week, it's like we'll have that opportunity to clear the air, to empower ourselves, to set things straight, which can be really good. I would also say that this week, Mercury will move into shadow. And so this week is sort of like the last week to like have at it with your shopping, I would say, if possible, because everybody does things a little bit differently. But, you know, if possible, if you can get your holiday shopping done this week, it'll probably be a good thing because once we get past this week, we will be full swing Mercury retrograde season. December, the first three weeks of December is when Mercury will be retro as well. Now, this retrograde is going to happen. I'll be here to talk about it as we go along, but really it is Mercury spending like two months, over two months, in one sign, which is the sign of Sagittarius. So I think as a collective, we'll be talking a lot more about things like immigration and citizenship, higher learning, the value of higher learning, uh, legal matters as well, political matters as well, as if we need it anymore, right? I mean, we do have Saturn in this part of the sky already. So Mercury is actually going to be activating that Saturn repeatedly as well. So I think as Saturn is in its last few weeks moving through the sign of Sagittarius, Mercury will really help to bring light to bring. Uh, and by light, I mean to illuminate in some ways through conversation, uh, through talking about things, we'll be able to start looking more at what do we actually believe where it comes to these matters. And this is something that we will see on a world level, on a world scale. How is it now that uh, Saturn trying to wrap up this transit, wrap up the last three years, the better part of the last three years moving through the sign of Sagittarius? What sense have we made of it? What has happened? What do we still need to communicate to each other? Uh, what is the conclusions that we're finding? This is gonna be part of the conversation now and in the weeks to come. Now, if all of that wasn't enough, we've also got a new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in the sign of Scorpio, and it's happening towards the end of the week. Now, you can watch your monthly horoscope on YouTube to get an insight into what that looks like for you. But suffice it to say, this particular uh, new moon is happening in the sign of Scorpio, speaking in harmony with Pluto. I absolutely love this for its transformational value and the transformational properties. Now, of course, Venus is moving through the same part of the sky, doing her magic. And so it says to me that in the early part of the week, it's a lot about inspiration. It's a lot about faith. It's a lot about possibility. It's about dreaming and imagination. But as we get to the end of the week, that is when some new beginning is set to take place in at least one area of life that very likely will be fueled by what previously was an inspiration, an idea, a possibility, a hope, a dream. It can lend itself to the type of new start that we are truly longing for, rooted in love. What I love about this week for us, what I love about this week for us is that it is so much about love and redefining love and being changed by love that much for the better. We all will find the potential now to dig deep within us and in some way understand how loved we truly are. And I think that we'll find that there is love, plenty of love available to us. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. It means so much. And also, you know that there's a bell, like if you're watching this on YouTube, there is a bell just below the screen somewhere here. And if you click on that, you'll get notifications to know when I upload new videos. Now, all this wonderful stuff I talked about in the video this week is actually available in your sign as well. If you log on to astrofabulous.com 
or NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars and superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week. I talk all about all the stuff I talked about, the most romantic day of the year, the most romantic week of the year. I talk about the new moon. I talk about all the wonderful stuff that Mercury is doing as well. So I hope that you'll check that out and I hope that you absolutely love it. I hope you love being my superstar. Truly grateful for the superstars out there. Thank you. And of course my necklace, thank you so much to everybody out there for buying, uh, for loving the necklace as well. There are about 15 left and it's only going to be on sale uh, on November 11. So this video is published on November 11. So that's the last day that this is a necklace will be available. Again, there are only like 15 left. So if you want one, please do head over uh, to my website Saturday, which is the last day, uh, and the link will be there on my website, NadiaShaw.com. And again, it's Swarovski crystals, it's silver, it says the universe is wise and loving, it's amazing quality. I designed it, my signature necklace. It won't be available ever again once uh, that's it that's it once they're sold out they're sold out and in the future if i do more jewelry it'll be something else but again i hope you absolutely love it so thank you thank you so much for watching thank you for sharing your sacred journey with me i'm truly so grateful for it it'll be a great week enjoy